Hello everyone, I'm Tarika from the WS2 API Manager team. Today we are going to talk about how WS2 API Manager helps you consume APIs securely. Once you create an API and publish it, the end users of the API or the application developers should have the ability to start consuming the API. There's a developer portal in WS2 API Manager which helps the application developers to do this easily. The developer portal is a web-based interface that you can use to discover, subscribe to, and consume APIs. The simple process is like this. Imagine yourself to be an application developer of the company ABC. You are developing a payment application. For this app, you need to implement a functionality to calculate the credit balances according to the given rates. You find that there is an API already providing this functionality and that it is available in your company's developer portal. So instead of rewriting the logic, you can simply use this API. For this purpose, you will log in to the company's developer portal, register your application, discover the API, subscribe to it, selecting an available business plan, generate an access token for the application, and consume the API using that access token. It is simple as that. I talked about generating an access token in the previous slide. So what are access tokens? Access tokens are used to authenticate and authorize a user or an application that is trying to access the resources of an API. APIs published in the API Gateway are by default secured using OAuth2, which is an industry standard authorization framework used for access delegation in the REST API world. The access tokens issued by WST API Manager are JWT tokens. JWT is an open industry standard used to share information between two entities and is used for authentication and authorization purposes. An application is allowed to generate an access token using different kinds of or two grant types. This depends on the type of the resource owner, type of the application, and the trust relationship between the authorization server and the resource owner. In WS2 API Manager, you can generate access tokens using different grant types, such as password grant, client credentials grant, authorization code grant, JWT bearer grant, and more. In the next slides, I'll give you a brief idea about two of these grant types so that you can get an understanding about them. Password grant is one of the simplest grant types in OAuth2. This is where you can obtain an access token exchanging the user's credentials, that is the username and the password, together with the client credentials of the application. Once you register an application, you will receive a client ID and a client secret. These are referred to as the client's credentials here. Then, in the client credentials grant type, only the client credentials are used to authenticate a request for an access token, as you can see in this diagram. In WST API Manager, not only Auth2, there are also other types of protection that can be enforced for an API. API key is the simplest form of application-based security you can configure for an API. An API key can be generated from the WST API Manager developer portal for a particular client application. Then, the client application can use the API key to invoke the API secured with the API key security scheme. An API key is a self-contained JWT token generated without communicating with the key manager. Then basic authentication is a simple HTTP authentication scheme where a valid Base64 encoded username and a password are sent in the request through the authorization header. Mutual SSL is a transport level security mechanism where both the client and the server validates and trusts each other. This avoids any request to the client as long as the server is aware of the certificates belonging to the client. WS2 API Manager has an inbuilt key manager component which is responsible for issuing access tokens, revoking these tokens, and performing scope validations, etc. This is also called the Resident Key Manager. In addition to this Resident Key Manager, WS2 API Manager also supports integrating with third party key managers as well. 
WS2 identity server, key clock, octa, auth0 are among the multitude of third-party key managers or identity providers that WS2 API manager supports out of the box. Hence, an application developer is given the capability to consume APIs by using tokens issued by any third-party key manager apart from the key manager that is inbuilt in WS2 API manager. So this concludes our session where we looked at how to consume APIs securely using WS2 API Manager. Thank you.